Welcome back, everybody. Seven Minutes for Seniors. I'm Chris Wilson with Modified Independence here with Brandy Renfro from Move, it, uh, Move Mobile Therapy. I don't know why. I have you when my phone is as Move It. I need to remove the it. Well, you can move I don't whatever know you why. want. I don't Just know why move. I did that. You Just can move, move all mobile of it therapy. or move. a little bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> Just, move it. Just move it. All right. <laughs> um, so definitely. So this is either this fourth segment. If you missed the first three, go back and check them out. But this fourth segment is either our shortest segment or our longest segment. And I don't judge. Okay. okay? All right. Cake, cookie, or candy bar? Mm, candy bar. Which one? Reese's. Is that a candy bar? Yes, it counts. It's in a bar shape. Wait, oh, so you're talking you're talking about a Reese's candy bar. I'm mm -hmm. talking about the peanut butter cup. Well, it's peanut butter cups in the shape of packaging that looks like a candy okay. bar. Okay. So do you do the doubles? You know, they make the double, the, the, not just the singles. Now they make the double. No, oh. singles. Listen, I can go too wild. I have to just narrow myself down. Uh, this is what it too wild to looks like. It has to just be contained yeah. and enjoyed. Yeah. But not wild. No? <laughs> okay, so you don't get the, so the ones, because now they put Reese's Pieces in them. They put pretzels in them. They oh, put, those are the, oh, I know yeah. what you're talking about. I've yeah. not had one of those. No? No. Oh. oh, I have eaten a few of them. <laughs> sure. All right, so, okay. So, um, is it the chocolate peanut butter thing? I think so. Yeah. It's just delicious. It's the best candy bar at Halloween. Candy, candy bar. It counts. Okay. Okay. So, you're, so you're passing on the, so if everything's on the table, you're passing on the cake, you're passing on the, the cookie, and you're going straight for the Reese's? Well, I probably won't pass any of it, but I would first go for the Reese's. Okay. So, do you bake? Not very well. No? What's the last I thing buy. you bake? What's the last thing I bake? Probably banana bread. Okay. All right. It's been a long time. I keep coming across these because so now I'm in this Instagram uh, uh, algorithm where mm -hmm. it's sending me all these keto things. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> mine are all pro mine are all look that how much protein is in. Yeah. This? <laughs> so so now um, I got this one that uh, that it's like don't throw away those old bananas and then mm -hmm. they make they make it into this banana bread and everything mm -hmm. like that. So it's still on my to watch list. I got to see what this is all about because I have a couple of old bananas. That I haven't thrown away because the reel came up and I was like, I listened to whatever people told me to do. Throw them in the freezer. They won't go bad. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Huh. So I, I, I do like banana bread, mm -hmm. but it seems like everybody has bananas sitting around waiting to make bread out of them. It's, it's true. Yeah. Okay. So banana bread was the last thing you made. All right. Um, do you prefer to cook? I do cook. I cook dinner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or what, breakfast. What do you prefer to cook? That really just depends. I have different tastes all the time we have a pretty good regiment of wednesdays is pasta thursdays is breakfast for dinner oh nice uh the other days are kind of up depending on what i feel or what i remember to set out nice. before work so do you cook in the kitchen or do you mm -hmm. on a griddle with a smoker no uh, a, well i cook in the kitchen the i have done the smoker I, it's not my favorite no I'm just i don't I'm just not very good at it. It's a long term. You, you gotta know, be you gotta be in for the long haul. You do, you do. You gotta put My that brisket in at two o'clock well. in the That's morning right. and yeah. Yeah. You get up and spritz it and yeah. everything. So yeah. I'm in the kitchen, um, trying not to set off the smoke detectors when I use the cast iron. Yes. Um, but you gotta have a cast iron too. Oh, you God. have to. Gotta take care of the cast iron. Gotta love the cast mm -hmm. iron. All right. So uh next, uh beer, liquor, wine or water? Mm, water. You don't drink alcohol? I do. Um, I don't very often, but I drink water all the time. Mm -hmm. Just that's my preferred drink. I drink water so that I can drink <laughs> alcohol. I, I'll, I'll have a drink um, at dinner um, Such as once a week. What? Some, maybe a wine, maybe a mixed drink. It depends. Rarely, rarely beer. Yeah. Um, Beer's heavy. It is. I just, yeah, just water. It just, yeah. that's what I get a thirst for. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like good tasting water. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while you get bad water. That's true. I hate that. Yeah. Yeah. Bad, bad swamp water is no good. <laughs> <laughs> Where was I? I was somewhere and I was like, oh, I got to drink tap water. And I was surprised that the tap water was actually good. Oh, it was at the lake house. We were at a friend's lake house in oh. Keystone Heights. And I was like, oh, this is going to taste like eggshells real Maybe fast. it's by a spring. Well, yeah, it actually is part of a spring, but I think he has a filter on the house too. Well, that helps. And I was hungover, so I needed the water. Well, so it definitely helped. There you go. Yeah. So, all right. So you don't drink, kind of. I do. Be, be, just not very often. Okay, what mixed drink are you going to have then? Hmm, probably something with Malibu. Oh, a rum. I do like a mojito. Okay. 
if I could grow mint, it would make it easier to have them. Mint? You could grow mint uh, anywhere. Listen, I have this conversation constantly. I cannot. I cannot grow mint in a pot in the ground, in the sun, in the shade. I can't. Can you I not can't. grow anything? Listen. Or is it just mint? It's just mint. It's just <laughs> I, mint? We, can't, we cannot grow it. It is a problem. I have had someone hand me a pot of mint and say, put it down and leave it alone. Mm -hmm. And a week later, I sent her a dead. picture of it dead. Why? Don't know. Can't wow. grow it. Can't grow it. Is it a problem just in Nocatee or no. is it in your yard? We, it is with my family. It wow. is us, clearly. Maybe you're too minty? I don't know. Wow. It's... I've heard of black thumbs, but I've never <laughs> heard of mint thumbs. We are the only ones that cannot grow it. That's awesome. Everybody else says it's a weed. I wish it would be a weed. I can't get rid of it. I, I... See, now I want to know, I want to know <laughs> I what the difference is. It. Like I, I want, you, I really want you to try to to grow like onions next to mint and see mm -hmm. if the onions thrive and the mint dies, or plant a potato and see if the potato still grows. When I was pregnant and nesting, I did have a garden. I decided in the middle of summer, at like six months pregnant, probably more in the spring, that I needed to make a garden, mm -hmm. and I had tomatoes and Everything whatever grew, else except for mint, fine, but never mint. Never mint. Never mint. <laughs> I'm wow. sorry. That that should have been the thing, the surprising thing. <laughs> there it is. I can grow anything else. I can't grow mint. That's yes. awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. That has been our fourth segment of Seven Minutes for Seniors. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, reach out to Brandy if you have any questions about um, uh, move mobile therapy. Y'all have a great day. Thanks.